world. Welcome back to Summary 23's Thought Experiment. Uh, here we are with episode five. And in this episode, I thought of a better approach to this next part. Uh, so we're going to backtrack a little uh, in order to put a new system into place. Um, here we're going to create uh, a couple of materials and a couple of um, objects and put the, to put them on. Um, and then we're going to make it so that the colors of these objects are these materials are changeable from the manager object in the editor. Uh, this what would this allow to do is anyone who's using this uh, scalar and rotation system can change the colors to match their palette. Um, and so we're going to have to get into our manager script a little bit again and uh, do some changing. So the first step here will be to create an empty object. And we're going to name this one uh, Selector Material. We're going to add a mesh renderer because you can't add a material to an object without a mesh renderer. Uh, but we are going to disable the mesh renderer. Then we're going to duplicate this and rename it scale material now we're going to go down here to assets we're going to right click create oops go to folder uh, there we go materials let's go into here and we are going to create material and we're going to name this one selector mat we're going to come up here it's a standard shader we want the rendering mode to be transparent and under albedo we want to select this box and change its transparency uh, to 128. So now we want to do that again. Create material. And we're going to name this scale mat. Transparent again. And 128. All right, so two materials and two objects. So now we just need to drag our materials to their appropriate objects. Selector mat to selector material. Scale mat to scale material. All right. We're going to take these two and we're going to drag them onto our manager, make them children of the manager object. And there we go. All right, now we're back in our scale and rotation manager. If you don't remember how to do that, you come in here, go to manager, double click that script, and it'll pull it right up for you. So now, this time, we do need to make some uh, initial variables for this manager. And we're going to create a two public, we're going to call uh, their colors. We're going to call one selector color. We're going to make it equal to a new color 32. It's R will be, which it's red will be 98, green 99, blue 255, and alpha we will leave at 128. Then we're going to take that line, copy and paste it. We're going to change the name to scale color. And we're going to change this to 159. Now, if I, we save this and walk back over to Unity, once it compiles, you can see here that we now have two selector or a selector color and a scale color. 
You can see exactly where its alpha is and what color it is. I don't know what that null is. But um, now we need two game objects so that we can get references. Uh, so it's our selector box and our scale handle boxes box rather and then we're going to create public static material selector mat public static oops material scale mat all right so what we're doing here is we're going to uh, when the program starts and we're going to create a, a start function um, when the program starts it's going to find those two objects um, to copy the materials from them but initially all we care about is setting the colors of the materials uh, during the startup process um, so let's do selector box equals game object see the class again find selector material that's the name of the object in the scene selector material now we're going to do the same thing for the scale handle box and change it to scale material again make sure we're changing making sure the right the names are right uh, now the selector material is going to equal selector box dot get component renderer oops dot material because material is part of the renderer and then we're going to set selector mat dot color to equal selector color. So what we're doing here is we're we've created a material and we're referencing and then we and we created a, a box and we find the um, the object for the selector, um, make a reference to it, and then the material is going to be part of the material uh, renderer component, and then its material. Then we change its color. Now we're going to do the same thing for the scale. So, it looks like we've got everything working here. Uh, hit Control S to save it. Come back over to Unity. All right, so now if we hit play, we see our colors here. Selector and Scale. Hit play. If we look at the selector material, You'll notice it is the same color. Scale material, less different color. 
we will let's do a green and a purple green purple joker would be proud go back to manager hit start and we can hit reset go back to our, our normal colors now it's time to connect those materials to our dynamic system so we're going to double click on scale and rot sys and we're going to change the name of this these materials uh, first we don't need it to be public that was just for demonstration purposes um, so we're going to go hmm scale and rot selector map And then we will do a scale mat. All right, now down here in our start, this is actually really simple because we put the static keyword in the manager. So SAR selector mat equals scale and rot manager dot selector mat. And SAR scale equals all right simple enough so now anything that we create with these materials will be connected to the ones of the manager and again because of that keyword right there it was a we were able to do that really simply <clears throat> now before this um, change that we just went through um, we had a different system so we had this create material um, where we had a function or a method to do that um, and you can see what it looked like uh, this was the create material method where we went through and um, created a new material with a standard shader changed the color and then went through some various um, integer changes, float changes, and keyword changes uh, to make the material raw at runtime. Um, didn't offer a whole bunch of flexibility like this This one does, the, the system that we just changed to. So we no longer need that. But we also no longer need the create material function. So we had Okay, so we just we created an object called Rend that's access to our renderer. Rend dot material equals uh, I think that's gonna be scale no selector. No, it's S A R selector mat. Now in theory when we go over here let it compile now we're gonna move these objects into camera view and we'll hit play and in theory when I click on the cylinder it should work all right no no collider so we can click again um, all right so that's all the materials that we need for this um, and we'll save the endpoints for the next episode thanks for watching everybody make sure you like comment subscribe um, this is Jason signing off La -la -la.